Has it changed since the last time? Is it Velvetier this week, or is it just me? I have been feeding it raw eggs. That might explain it. We don't have anything new in this week. Oh. Okay. But I did order a few new items. They'll be in on Friday. Neo-Baroque pieces. You know, I always say if it ain't Neo-Baroque, don't Neo-fix it now. I, I don't say that. I would never say that. It's too late. It's in my head now. Every time I think of brush chrome scroll work, I'll think of you. Friday. Friday. You already have a sofa. Yeah, but she doesn't know that. I guess I'm having a hard time understanding your plan here, Brian. Show up at the furniture store and stare at her awkwardly until she spontaneously makes a baby at you? I'm not taking dating advice from a 65-year-old math teacher. I'm 40. Tell that to your wardrobe. I'm committed to my vocation. Really? I'm just questioning your loiter and lurk technique. Would it look like a romantic gesture if you were wearing a trench coat? Molly, you understand chemistry. What do you think? I have a PhD in chemistry. Actual chemistry, though, not human chemistry. I think that's more metaphorical than anything. But you're a woman. Yes, but that's not metaphorically. Good to know. What do you think? There are two types of chemical reactions, spontaneous and non-spontaneous. Non-spontaneous requires a catalyst, energy, light, electricity. Spontaneous chemistry, what does that require? Well, the right chemicals, for one. Got that. Proximity. C. Have you actually touched this woman? Have you had any physical contact with her? No. Hmm. Maybe add some heat? Or electrocutor. Are you looking for love advice, boss? Uh, no thanks, Vaughn. No, come on, you don't have to be embarrassed. With all due respect, it's not just about chemistry. When I was uh, wooing my ex-wife, I didn't rely on chemistry. How could you? Well, I'm gonna tell you the same thing I tell my students. You give your students dating advice? What? No. No. Well, well not directly. I mean, it's just good advice. Initiative. You gotta show some spirit, some go-get-it attitude. Success comes in cans, not in cans. Look, all I'm saying is that... Be the you you want to be. Your attitude will determine your altitude. Success comes in cans. Maybe you should just ask her out. I don't have trouble getting girlfriends. That's a really great attitude to have. I've never had trouble with women. Good things come to those who come on good things. Yes, yes, you are the future you make. You can't just rely on chemistry. Chemistry is what attracted my husband and me. Well, we're both chemists. I spilled acid on his leg. I understand that you might be afraid to ask her out. Why would I be afraid? Exactly. No, really. Yes, that's a great attitude to have. Lots of women have asked me out. But how many have you asked out? Don't you have some minds to poison or something? How many women have you asked out? Look, it's no big deal. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. You know, Brian, when you make excuses, you make exes out of yous and us. Give it a rest. You know I'm not wrong, says the remedial history teacher. All right, I know three things. One, I'm right. Two, I've been teacher of the year, three years in a row. Three, Pete! And three, Molly should have been in class 10 minutes ago. Oh, shit. Come on. Children are waiting. You've never asked a woman out, have you? He's incredibly hard to read. His expression hardly ever changes. I don't know how she puts up with him. They're obviously made for each other. Two of a kind. But all he does is stare at her sideways like that. I think she's wondering what he's up to. Well, maybe he's wondering the same about her. Maybe. What are you doing waiting there like that? Why doesn't one of them do something? I don't know. It's strange. Maybe she's wondering why you spend so much time in front of this sofa. Every time I come in here, he's just sitting there. She might be wondering that. Wondering if he has what it takes to commit to something as large as this sofa. She might be impressed by that. It's possible. He could use it. This place is empty? He lives alone. Does he? Oh yeah, he's unattached. Straight, just looking for a velvet sofa. Straight, you say? He's incredibly urbane. Urbane? Yet shifty. Not shifty. She doesn't trust him? He wants the sofa. He needs the sofa. He's gonna get the sofa. What would he do with an $8,000 sofa? What couldn't he do with an $8,000 sofa? I think she's wondering if she should tell him that she saw a much more practical leather sofa in the back room. But it almost looks like that she's the kind of cat 
that doesn't care if he buys the sofa or not. That last one, the really pretty one. That student's mom from the parent-teacher conferences. The one with the horrible hairline? There's something wrong with her hairline? No, her son. Yeah, that kid's gonna be bald by 20. Yeah. Miss Collins, that lady. What was her first name? Yes. You didn't ask her out? No. You, she just threw herself at you. She didn't just throw herself at me. Not at first, anyway. Oh, but she was really attractive. Yeah, I know. It was meant to happen, so it happened. A few times, actually. Thank you very much. Fate? Yeah, if you want to call fate. So you were destined to sleep with Miss Balding Child. Destiny is a strong word. Yeah, that's stupid. W where's your sense of romance? Romance? You don't think it's romantic for two people to find each other? Find each other's what? What? Random chance is romantic? It's not merely random chance. But there's an element of random chance. Isn't there an element of that in everything? So you're a fatalistic indeterminist. Don't start double talking me. I just think that when things are meant to happen, they happen. You don't have to force them. What, by trying? By forcing them. You know, this is starting to make sense to me now. What is? This! You, the way you are. Your life's commitment to passivity. Can someone be committed to passivity? You know what I mean. It's not complicated. That's the point. Simple, hassle-free, it's romantic. I simply choose the path of least resistance. What I'm really looking for is a chair I'll look good in while sipping brandy. You'll be interested in our super villainy collection. High back, swivel bases, cat scratch resistant. Unfortunately, we're all sold out. A lot of evil people in this town. That's a shame. Can I drink brandy in this chair? That's a mojito chair. I like mojitos. I do too. There's a bar down the street that makes really good ones. Yeah? You should try them sometime. Maybe I will. How much is this? Eight hundred dollars. This is nice. Ah! Oh, what the hell's the matter with you? Eight hundred dollars is a lot of money. Oh, I thought we were all groaning at Brian's complete cowardice and lack of initiative. Yeah, we are. Okay. But eight hundred dollars is also a lot of money. Well, it is, but Brian, you can't let these things stand in your way. If you huddle the hurdles, you'll succeed in one leap. Okay, bumper sticker, I've asked you not to call me that. Are you telling me you don't appreciate synchronicity? Well, I think Providence is a nice high place to leap uh, from. No, no. no, shut up! But careful planning is a parachute we sew for ourselves. You know, I don't know what I hate more about him. The fact that he's an idiot douchebag, or that he's right. Douchebag, definitely douchebag. But he is right. Right? He's not right? Yes, he is. You're just afraid to ask her out because you've never been overtly rejected before. Have you ever been covertly rejected? No. How would you know? Neither of you know what you're talking about. Math teacher, chemistry teacher. I'm the only one that teaches philosophy. Yeah, junior high philosophy. As a part of health class. Yeah, you put condoms on bananas and talk about Karl Marx. In that order? No, you're so wrong. The school board won't let me mention any of those things. Fascists. Karl Marx was a socialist. Oh, the school board. I just don't understand why you keep torturing yourself. I'm not torturing myself. He's so happy. Because he loves life so much. Yeah. But it can, it can change on a dime. You see that? Yeah, I mean, li literally. Like, boom. Boom, boom. <laughs> boom, boom. <gasps> you have so much hair. Have you ever been to that place that, that is the Buddha place? Gives you such good luck if you go there. I heard it's a really nice place to go on a date. Yeah. But I do like the shaker. Who's that again? The shaker. No. You're bad. <laughs> you work out? Do you just like salt? I, I, I just like use salt. salt. I don't want children yet. Why not? I just don't. But, but I want them one day. Don't get me wrong. Boys or girls? Um, definitely the boy first and then the girl because the boy will help her be tougher. And the girl will help him be softer and sweet. of blunder and we'll both be sorry the best we never had well I would take
know someone have a party, my guess they won't be nailed to the walls. Chairs. Not much they can't do. You're throwing a party? What? You're having a party. Am I? Isn't that what you just said? Uh, yeah. This weekend, like 10 or 12 people or so. Oh, this was more of an intimate affair. Or 30. 40, 33. I don't know. I sent out a ton of invitations. Sort of an open house, you know, to show off all my great new stuff. Oh, I don't usually get to see the stuff in its natural habitat. But you know, if, if you wanted to stop by, that clock you saw me has been asking about you. Yeah? Only if you feel like it. Do you have an invitation or something? Uh, I don't really have invitations. Left. Huh? You don't have any left? Yeah, right. I, I sent out like a hundred or so. The price of stamps these days, it's crazy. But, you know, if you want to... Here's my address. I know this isn't a proper invitation. Casual. I don't want you feel pressured. More of an option than anything. But you want me to come, right? I want you to do whatever you want to do. And I'll, I'll take this chair for the party. My desk chair, it's not really for sale. Then, uh, I'll see you. Maybe. I'll probably... You don't have to decide now. If I, if I see you, I see you. When is it? Uh, this weekend. Saturday night, eight or so. Plenty of time. Just you, like me, 50 other people. Saturday is in tomorrow night? Yep. Tomorrow night. Eight o'clock. You, me, 50 people. 33. How did you do this? Chemistry. But what did you make me? You asked for a drink that was self-actualizing. Well, this doesn't look like a Cosmo. Exactly. Where is everybody? Every faculty member at school, they don't all have second jobs. Maybe they just couldn't make it. Saturday night, free drinks. Teachers don't turn down free drinks, the only drinks they can afford. If I rearrange some of this, it'll look fuller. Fuller. Dollar in the bad teacher jar. Come on, help me out. No, I'm sorry, I took a sip of this and I'm not feeling quite right. Is there something wrong with my eye? No. I feel like if I help you move that, it'll make me a liar for calling in sick to Pinkberry. I think I'm self-actualizing. Told you. Another well-thought-out, non-plan, foiled by reality. I'm just gonna be here any minute, see no one's here, think this whole thing's all some sort of ruse. Or that you're horribly unpopular. I throw parties like this all the time. This isn't a ruse? <laughs> no, it's not a ruse. Then why did Desmond tell all of us not to come? Oh, Jesus. What? Right after you called us, Desmond called all of us and told us not to come. And yet, here you are. Why would I miss this? This is the first party I've been invited to in two years. God damn it, Desmond. What? Are you sure my eyes okay? Yes, it's fine. Keep drinking. You couldn't leave it alone, could you? I was going to, and then I remembered that what you're doing is asinine. So what are you gonna do? Just sit here until she comes by and tell her to go home? I don't know, maybe. I just don't understand why you're being so stubborn about this. Just ask her out. Because that's not how I choose to live my life. What makes your way so much better than mine? Logic. From where I'm sitting, you're not doing any better than I am. Same thankless job. When's the last time you went on a date? Your life sucks just as much as mine. Wow. You're really selling the hell out of your system here. So neither of us have the right answer. Can we agree on that? I have about $8,000 that you don't. Not as much cool stuff. I think if you want things, why shouldn't you try to get them? Yes! 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 If you want action, you must act, son. Sex comes in cans. It's like I tell my remedial history students, if George Washington had never cut down that cherry tree, he would never have been president. That's not what happened. Well, they don't know that. God, I'm a terrible teacher. Yes, you are. Don't judge my advice because he agrees with me. Yeah. Okay, guys, go home. I, just, I don't know, just go. Well, look at the bright side. 
Now your stupid plan is ruined. You can just ask her out. Desmond gets what he wanted. Oh, no. No, you're right. Stay miserable. You wouldn't want to encourage me. Oh, and when she shows up, just give her the finger. And tell her it's so I'll stop meddling. I'm sure she'll understand. I think she will understand. She's very cool. Why didn't you come to my party? What are you doing here? Why didn't you come to my party? You're being really creepy right now. I am? Yeah. So I'm really not trying to be creepy. You're doing a terrible job. Of not being creepy? Yeah. Yeah, I realize that now. How do you know where I live? You told me. I did? Well, yeah, you told me that you live in this complex and that you like to walk to work on Saturdays because you don't get the chance to go to the gym and your car's parked out front. And I had to guess which apartment it was, so I only got it wrong twice. I didn't tell him where you live. I know, Mr. Jameson. It's okay. Are you sure? Do you want me to call the police? Not yet. I can't. It would be no trouble. You won't, you won't have to call the police, Mr. Jameson. He won't. What do you want? I want to know why you didn't come to my party. Tonight? The non-invitation? The option, I opted out. Why? It didn't seem like you really wanted me there. I wanted you to come if you wanted to come. I wanted it to be your decision. Well, I decided. Well, wait, 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 wait. Penelope, are you sure you're okay? It's fine, Mr. Jameson, I'm I just- I'm not talking to you! It's fine, Mr. Jameson. I can still call the police. I will. I'm watching, sir. So what's your deal? What do you mean? You've been coming to the store for two months now. We got along all right, had a good rapport. Right? Am I wrong in thinking that there may be, that you might... Like you? Yeah. Absolutely. So what's your deal? Doesn't it usually work that if a guy likes a girl, he, I don't know, asks her out? It's not like you didn't have tons of opportunities. There were a few. Tons. I was starting to think that you were, you know, crazy which was worrisome to me because I liked you. And the commission I was earning off of you was nice, but it wasn't enough to put up with the Wait, maddening. Wait, what? What? You like me? My God, you are crazy. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Wait. I'm not crazy, I promise. I'm, I'm a junior high school teacher. Do you believe in synchronicity? Synchronicity? Yeah, that when things are meant to happen, they happen. Providence? Fate's a little too strong of a word. Yeah, I guess, sometimes. That's why I didn't ask you out. I didn't want to force anything. I just thought that if anything was going to ever happen between us, that it would just happen, that you and I, we would be together because we were meant to be together. So you spent two months and $8,600 to leave it all up to fate? Fate's a little strong of a word. That's stupid. It's not? Yeah, it is. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. No, it's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to ask me out, ask me out. Okay. What? Now? 
Well, it's kind of late. It's 11.30. That's late. I'm a teacher. Mm. I never properly introduced myself. I'm Brian, by the way. I know. It's on your checks. And really, checks. <laughs> I'm Penelope. You gave me your card. So, Brian, what cosmic mystical force brings you to my doorstep this evening? <laughs> my car. Anything you want to ask me? Maybe. The question is, will he let a bunch of philosophical drivel get in his way? Philosophical drivel? Probably not. That's good. Okay, so... Now you know I didn't ask you out. But now I want to know. What? Why didn't you ask me? Because I believe a woman should never make the first move. I catch your eye